Hey Leo, I hope you're doing amazing. Uh, this is will this will be a very short reading. I'm on my way out the door. I just realized I haven't done your reading. <clears throat> I'm also not well, so I have pre-shuffled <laughs> and I have um, yeah made a spread already, Leo. So uh, this is uh, a very short reading. Now I am picking up that you're dealing with someone that is going through chaos. Um, this could be self-inflicted. Someone seem maybe to be bitter around them or it's them. This is someone that constantly is bickering, going through an inner struggle. This person is someone that have to heal from um, their environment, their own behavior perhaps as well. Um, there could be immaturity around this person. Now, how you fit into the picture here, um, I see that they feel like, well, they want to come towards you with a, an apology, but uh, they also know that they have put, you know, with the um, Nine of Swords, that um, with the Dark Knight of the Soul, that they have, like, um, been the cause of turmoil in your world, in your mind. And even though that has happened, you have... Um, come on top uh, like you have see with the aces leo you have like sh you've, you've shaken that off um you've been stuck in your head but nevertheless you haven't really um you know it hasn't really got you down for maybe that night uh, that few days right so you were up in your head and uh, you are ready to um move forward right but someone here is, uh, there could be a stressing that you are happy. There could be some gossip around. Like they, it's like, I see that you are really happy, uh, Leo. I see that you are moving uh, like into a very nice new beginning. Well, let's find out a bit more about this person that is showing up in you really, who they are. Who is the person that is showing up in Leo's reading? Sorry, it's taking a bit longer. <laughs> I'm very slow <laughs> with everything. Uh, uh, I will, I will, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'll be back on Monday, Tuesday. I plan to do readings again. So again, yeah, just a bit, more than a bit delayed <laughs> this week. Um, so Leo, here we go. Now, Someone is contemplating this new beginning with you to take a leap of faith, to take a, a risk and, and, and feel that, um, right, if they do, if they do that, if they pluck up the courage, they, um, yeah, they could really come, like they, they have this grand plans, um, but it's not really much to, they could come up with a plan when they're drunk or some, or intoxicated um like when they're this person is obsessed they can cause um, an argument for no reason this person is quite i'm picking up someone it's like in this foul mood all the time like they are when you're around them it's like you can you sense they aren't happy and um, you sense that they are um it's as if they're just twitching of being toxic and moody and like if they can unleash their wrath to their surroundings they will this is someone that is just bitter about something that has gone wrong in their life and perhaps what's gone wrong is that they have lost the connection with you and to get this connection back it, that might not even be possible mm. now they have like they have what it takes if they if they maintain uh, what it takes uh, like maturity courage healing um but this could possibly be short-lived maybe that's what you know about so um you might be dealing with a libra aries 
Gemini, Capricorn, they might have Leo in their chart. Now, this person is uh, someone that believes that they almost have an ownership over this connection because of your history with them. Like this is someone that can just come in and think they can claim this connection. They they believe that they have a, a you know a saying. They believe that they can pick up a phone and call you. Um, and and this person could be a nightmare to deal with. Like it's um, this person is a nightmare to deal with. I'm picking up now. It, they want to take the lead in love. Some of them can have fire in their chart, maybe Libra and Aries. They want to take the lead in love to come towards you. But this is someone that wears a mask and they are, you know, they they come in with this lust and confidence and full of ego, right? Only to, they don't really feel good about their actions, but it's the only actions that they can man up to do at this time. Because this person, I'm telling you, they are... Um, I don't know what state of mind, uh, what why they're in this state of mind, right? Um, uh, they, they could blame it on feeling like they have bad luck in life. Maybe they have health issues. This is someone that's saying, you know, I got this, that, and the other. I have no one to look after me. Poor me, poor this, poor that. And they, this is someone that feel like someone should pay for everything. Like this is someone that would say, you know, you should pay for that. You should, you owe me this. Like this is someone that literally, if you're around them, they will just um like demand you to pay for them or expect you to pay for them like not just you but people around them in general like that's the mood they're in it's a mood it's a very bad mood it's immature it is i i see people are turning away from them i think that this person um you know they might have been spoiled as a child or they, maybe they lost someone that was spoiling them and, and they didn't really stay with them until they, they matured. There's there's a gap here. Uh, they believe that they their this behavior is just how life is. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's really miserable type of um, behavior. Now, this person can, right? When, when they're in, in the element, that means that stroke their ego and the passion is flowing and, you know, everything... The drinks are flowing, right? Oh, that you can find yourself in a bubble where this person will unleash their romantic gestures. And, and maybe that's how you fell in love with them. Uh, and, and they fell in love with you, right? And they want more of you. But I think that you have experienced a nightmare with this person. Maybe you thought that you could, you know, hold on, wait, that this person will heal, that they will come around. I mean, it's possible if they go through this dark night of the soul, like they, they, they go through a transformation. But the problem with this person, I don't think that they, they don't really seem to be someone that uh, speak, speak about it. They, they, they like to blame everybody else about their life it's it's always someone else's fault this is someone that if they have kids they will expect their kids to pay for them or their grandchildren to pay for them or you know or or if this is someone that is their siblings i don't know this is someone that use people expect that anyone that is related to them anyone that is like their friend if they are going through a misery, they believe that, well, once upon a time, they were so nice and kind. So now everyone should just pay up. That's the attitude they show. And of course, by showing this attitude, uh, then they are scaring people away. So they could uh, be alone, uh, but they still act this way. This person is someone that demands um, attention. And, and, and they could just be like someone that will just send a message. Oh, why don't you answer? Oh, why don't you do this? They are very, very um, <laughs> difficult to deal with. Really difficult uh, person. Mm, this is someone that requires to go through a, well, a detox, um, clear their mind, understand, well, to remove all the toxins that is making them um, act uh, very miserable and uh, burdening to people around them, believing that if they are miserable, then everybody else should be miserable as well. Um, they believe that they they think that they have a right to act a certain way just because like this person isn't they could be um like if this person is a is a parent, they they, they could be a terrible parent. 
and and it's because they're toxic and um, i think this person um by the looks of it they need a, a heavy detox and and it has to do with alcohol drugs prescription drugs i see someone just like whatever they're on is just they might not be someone that seem um like um like they're on anything even but their lifestyle and what they do is not good for their minds and because they continue to do it they are becoming very heavy and and their energy is very heavy and of course law of attraction you stay heavy um you stay unkind to people around you you stay miserable you stay demanding you stay you know causing arguments well the ball will just keep rolling um and and they t seem to sort of get they have um, their ego is fueling them constantly um which is is how they're still doing what they're doing um they do just enough to get by um yeah i let's let's see um leo i do hope this is not the person that uh, is in your new beginning i i doubt this very much um sorry the cards are not okay um all right because you have here a spiritual journey uh, Leo, that you are looking forward to. I see that you might be exploring um, new people, new friends. Uh, there might be a new job. There might be a promotion as well. Um, you are very attractive at this time and I see that you are, do have a lot of attention on you. Um, now, I do see that someone from your past has been this person causing a nightmare they might be wanting or believe that you or not believe well they believe or act as if um yeah this is someone that act as if whatever you know future you have that involves abundance that they you owe them um you owe them some of your abundance this person is um <laughs> someone that Maybe you discussed um, a future with them, commitment as well, uh, Leo. Maybe you showed a really kind, softer side of yourself to them as well. You were very generous. You thought that this person uh, would be uh, generous and that you could trust them as well. Um, I do see like this, you and this person, it's... Like they, they are, they can only really cause pain um, in the state that they're in. You might be dealing with, a, 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 I keep getting a strong Libra. Libra with Aries, Libra with uh, Leo, Libra with, yeah, Leo or Aries. And this connection here is, is a, um, it's, I don't think it's the connection um, that you don't, match because there seem to have been a deep love there is a spiritual connection however it has to do with your person's um in, well the state they're in um then of course uh you will only see the worst of them it's possible that this person will keep repeating a cycle and you have a death card so it is possible that eventually they will have to surrender because I see them alone. I see them uh, not, there is no one to like do whatever they're doing towards their ways, their behavior, right? They can't really hurt anyone. They can't really get that attention that uh, to cause damage because there might not be like wherever they go, they seem to be falling into an argument or there seem to be some toxic something uh, around this person unfortunately uh, and i see for you leo it looks like you will the focus of detaching of this per like you might even give this person a piece of their mind and actually when you do that it doesn't have to be um, something mean it could just be um removing uh, yourself from their energy i say that you have a possibility to to really uh, like double your finances. There's something about this person's energy is not a good energy to um, 
to have around. And for, for those of you that believe that this is your person that, well, maybe they get out of uh, what they're in, uh, there is a future for you and them, right? Maybe that's possible, but this is um, this person is flat out someone that would have to go through that. Um, and and I think that this person is someone that believe that if they are with like with you, that you can pay for them and, and help them. And like they are quite delusional, I would say, quite very much so delusional. Um. Yeah, I, I, I'm i picking up that, um, Leo, you are going to take a, um, like it might make you sweat the decision, right? Um, it might feel like it's difficult uh, because it's, they are coming towards you very sweet, very romantic, right? With a lot of love and, and this, union could have had a lot of sparkle in the past right could have been this type of union where you were to say oh we were this power couple or you know where you both were thriving at your best and also that you um you know were the best you you've had great moments together uh, until this person's downfall it's something they're not healing and dealing with so of course being around them even though it's love there, they will take your love and they will just spit it back out into something toxic because for them it's just fuel uh, because they are there is some kind of addiction uh, they have and, and it's fueling their ego, it's not healthy. Uh, probably underneath all of that, I, I sincerely believe that anybody that is in this state uh, of mind can also uh, detox, right? I bet you if you put this person on, <laughs> on a, a heavy detox, they probably will, uh, you know, be a bit easier to deal with. Or I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know this person, but I'm just, that's just what I'm picking up, right? They're also quite jealous of you, um, that you are, you can turn your life around quite quickly, uh, even though you, you might seem that, you know, you are suffering a lot based on this person, you know, to toxic ways, perhaps. Um, but um, I see that you are, you know, fighting uh, for your own new beginning, uh, Leo, and um, right, you're manifesting this new beginning and, and there is a person coming towards you. Um, this person could have earth in their chart. Yeah, so a person from your past here, you know, there's been deep love and there is still deep love, but this person is on a completely different journey, whatnot, they could also be quite immature, maybe there is age difference, I don't think age is the issue, but you know, they are quite immature. And you have experienced great love with this person and that love is worth fighting for. However, now you realize that you can get this love by filling up your own cup and you can be as happy focusing on yourself because you being happy and away from this person, that loneliness is what uh, could turn this person's ways because they have been close to, to changing. They have been close to uh, right going through a transition that could bring a better sight uh, from this person, perhaps it's also people they have to shed. They could be listening to people around them. They call friends, but they aren't that great friends, but they are still prioritizing those people and not this connection. And uh, I would s say that the more you distance yourself from them, the more they're going to see that the light that you have is what they are you know, what they need, what they love, what they are driven to, uh, to to change and become a better person, right? Because I think when you are close to them, they take it for granted, that light. They don't even realize now how dependent they are on your light. They could say, oh, well, you know, Leo, they don't do anything for me. I don't, like, they could say negative things because they don't, it's like this person don't know what they're saying. They don't say what they feel, and that's for sure.
they 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 seem to be very bitter very very bitter and everything they come out of their mouth is pretty much an um argument and not so kind words um but it's it has to, it has not to do with you like it is something that's happening within them and it's like they've been triggered because they have repeated a cycle over and over and over and they like to blame it on someone so in a way if you're not with this person at the moment it's kind of lucky because i think you are the one that's going to rise to the top with a lot of abundance coming your way now this person could have been saying like oh you know leo is not going to make it they're depending on me i'm the one with the big plans like they can be someone that talk a lot of shit um so so um this person is definitely <laughs> At least that as they're showing up in this reading, this is someone that is uh, is worthwhile leaving them be. I do feel there's a Taurus around you. I don't know if it's a new person, Leo. There is someone wealthy around you. Could also be Gemini. There's two people around me that I feel there's a strong, in, in this Taurus or, or Gemini, maybe they're born on a cusp. This is someone that, you know, it's it's it might not be as exciting as the first you know time you met this person here but this person is almost like they have one they know how to get people addicted to them and their ways it's almost they think that they offer something exciting something special when what they offer is toxic unpredictable and chaotic um but again you have a past life connection with them uh it is quite strong uh, in the reading but it seems that you are now seeing clearly what you have to do what road you have to follow at this time to make sure that you are um racing to the top and and i will see that there is, i see that there is a lot of abundance coming your way uh leo so um yeah these were where the messages i have for you leo um please like subscribe share the video and i'll see you very soon take care